Hi, I'm David Isseldorp and I'm going to demonstrate the remote share snapshot client on SUSE Linux Enterprise 12. So in this case, the Samba client will be connecting to a Windows server to create snapshots on that server. So just looking from our Windows server now, connecting via localhost, we can see that this uh, server has a single share. And now from our uh, Samba client, so using the RPC client binary, which is shipped with Samba, uh, we can connect and also confirm that that share exists on the server. And now we'll check whether this uh, share supports uh, remote shadow copy or snapshot requests, in which case our uh, Windows Server 2012 server, of course, supports uh, snapshot requests for this share. So let's uh, just populate this share with some data now. So just a single file with some, some text inside. And now moving back to our Samba client, uh, what we'll do is request the creation of a snapshot of that share. And this will also expose a new share, um, which corresponds to the snapshot that has just been taken. So we can see there that the server has responded and said that a new share has been successfully exposed for the snapshot. So we'll just modify the base share now, uh, just to show that our base share can be changed. And then uh, we have our snapshot share, which then contains the data at the time of the snapshot. So now back to our Samba client, uh, what we can also do is then remotely delete uh, the snapshot that we've just taken. So in this case, we provide the base share name and uh, the two unique identifiers for that new snapshot. And uh, we have a response from the server saying that uh, the snapshot has been deleted. Thanks for watching.